love animation, especially on YouTube, uh, because there has been such quality animation done. Like, we got introduced to Hell of a Boss and Has Been Hotel, mm -hmm. and then Sam Onella with his incredible skills <laughs> as an illustrator. But in all honesty, some of it isn't the highest quality, but it's very unique and specific to the creator. Yeah. Um, and their humor outshines the animation. Sometimes it's elevated by the quality of the animation when it's kind of sloppy and like, um, what is it? Cyanide and Happiness? Yeah. That channel. I mean, it's kind of a basic animation style, but it's fucking hilarious. Yeah. And, um, know? oh gosh, oh, it's going to take me a minute. I'm terrible with names. It's really funny. Bruce Stu. Bruce, Bruce Stu is another one. Yeah. yeah. But there's a lot of stuff out there that's just been really cool. And we know a lot of you guys are fans of it and you've been recommending this lack of daisy pilot to like us crazy for over a month and guess what we need to get to it we know that and that's what we're going to do here today yeah so i'm excited to check this out just seeing how pumped you guys were for this it must be really good and i've seen the the the, the uh thumbnail for it and, and no some screenshots here and there from it because i subscribed to the channel as soon as you guys recommended to it so i could keep on uh track with it and uh, yeah, the animation just looks completely badass. I am going into this completely like I have no idea what it looks like. I have no idea what the story yeah. is, as I do with a lot of this stuff. Right. So with that being said, thank you guys for this recommendation. And uh, I guess it's about time for us to get to it. All right, let's go. Seems far too austere a name for something made of mirth and rage. Oh, roiling red blood river vein, if chief among your traits is age, you're a wily, convoluted sage. <laughs> is old the thing to call what rings the vernal heart of Wester lore? It brings us brassy, myth made kings. And preponderance of bug type things. To challenge titans come before! Oh, Demiurge to a try at Avalon once more. And what a gust vitality in your wide aorta stream. You must have had to oversee alchemic change of timber beam to iron brick and engine steam. Your umber whiskey waters lends the prideful, sober sovereignty a faulty haloed temperance and wilt her self short countenance. Yes, righteousness is vanity, <laughs> but sports for imps, not elderly. So, if there's a name for migrant mass of veteran frivolity, that snakes through seas of prairie grass and groves of summer sassafras. A name that flows as roguishly as wild waters, fast and free. It's your true name, Mississippi. Ahem, it's abundantly clear you four got us down here. Encore? Uh, no encore? No, no, that's plenty. Well, <laughs> should I uh, add a, a dance? Extra stanzas? <laughs> There's more where that came from. Please don't ruin musical theater for everyone. <laughs> I'm not sure lookouts are supposed to make such a ruckus anyway. Why don't you come down here and grab a shovel? Alas, Miss Pepper, I was cursed, cursed with these spaghetti arms! So, I do what I can. I provide the up. Nice. Oh my god. <laughs> I provide the ambiance. Babyface provides the muscle. Look at him digging his way to martyr the little goat getter. Now. How about a little Rhapsody in G minor for company? Fine. If you're not going to help us work, you're going to have to double as the dirt rag. 
Rocky? Ah. I think I found... <laughs> is that it? Well, if it isn't, we'll have some awkward explaining to do to the family of, uh... Herman Hapfem... Hmm. Oh. I really love the art style. What was that? Yeah, it's really Spot fucking awesome. Resting spirits. We're trespassing on their turf. But there's not you can do about it, you feisty devils. <laughs> Mom was here. What? Blasphemy! That force of nature, she'd stop us dead. I know. Oh, freckle. Don't tell me you aren't having a good time showing off your shoveling skills for hotsy totsy over here. Behind our place Literally all the time. Every night, three o'clock in the morning, <laughs> while we record. Oh, for a moment there, I thought it was your mom. This is why you don't go out of enough spirits and dig it up graves and sacrilege and ass. Settle down, cousin. <laughs> The spirits are all bottled up. <laughs> Hundred years past, Burke and Hare were up to much worse. And things turned out just fine for them. D didn't they hang them? Details, Freckle. Details. <laughs> now show me your crowbar skills. <laughs> ah, liquid gold! Dionysian okay. delight! Better still, Canadian whiskey! I think we should hurry. I'll start the car. In the jar. Leave the headlamps off. Don't be too careful. Right. We've been so discreet up until now. No! Don't let that get away! Miss Sam can't spare a drop! Moderation. Where's that spotlight when we need it, Miss Pepper? Now the spirits are afoot. Oh, I got it. No, I got that it. is my foot. That's not what I meant. Well, I can't see. Ah, there it is. Yeah, stop it. Get you get off of me. Rock out. Oh, God. Is it the law? No. Nope. Oh. Damn. <laughs> Look like we got some live ones tonight. <laughs> yeah, say ball. The chain is the best part. Shit. Let's not prolong this. This is a trifling matter. We have other business to tend to. Yeah, but none of it near as fun as this going to be. Mm, can't let the competition go unchecked. Even a little vermin, they got a way of festering. Alon! Where'd you learn to drive like that? I did it! Oh, shit. Oh, 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 didn't oh. Learn to drive! Well, you're so bad at it, you've confounded the enemy. Nicely done. <laughs> Oh my god. Why backwards? Okay. Now we need a performance from you, Torpedo Boy! Ah. Oh, no, no, no! Yes, yes, yes! No, no! Don't be modest! Oh, shit. Light him up. Why does it have to be him? Why can't the other guy? Because he's got noodle arms. Oh my god. Alright, what the? <laughs> I guess this one is the big. Closer with me! Oh shit. Man in the back's dead. Nah. <laughs> I think I swallowed a bug. You got a big fat bad bed for dinner? Big fat. Nah, just more glass. <laughs> Profoundly unprofessional. Well, they got more firepower Shit. than I expected. But you want to take over driving back there? No. 
especially now that you have alleviated us of our windshield. Oh, you don't like how we play? How about you stop spectating and throw in, Shell? Or do we have to worry about you getting sentimental about old times? Okay, all right. There's no left. Use your imagination. Like, oh, that was not how that works. Damn. It's just that there's a, hot, a fire, a burning hot fire in, uh, in, the, in the engine compartment. Yeah, that's our cat. The yes. Radiator. Oh, oh Jesus Christ. Of course. Creepy. He's fucking hilarious, dude. Let's just have to climb to the top. Why not? Now is not the time. Hit squad coming after him. Oh, the world is full of magic things. I just need a ticket to ride. Oh, fuck. <laughs> Danger. Why <Wide laughs> explosives? No smoking. There was a pistol in here somewhere? There's always one witch didn't see. Well, I guess that's a gun. I'll drop them away. You start the car. Please. This is going to take longer if you scatter them. What happened to you that made you hate fun? <laughs> I'll take care of that. Disable the vehicle. Wow. Blackberries. how his tail just kind of like flicks yeah. around yeah I mean he is a cat so yeah ah. Ah! <laughs> ah! <laughs> no 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 oh, no Cap. The 
train. Okay, never mind. Oh, one. shit. <laughs> no, it's not. <laughs> yeah, that's that guy's fucking great. Crazy. That guy's crazy. What's happening? Rocky. <laughs> you can brandish up your whip and chain. But the circus trains are blazing day. The clown with derriere. We'll make our three rings anywhere. What? Oh, no. He has caused all kinds of craziness. <laughs> like, none of this would probably be happening. Where's he at? Rocky! Uh oh. No. Oh, thank God. Why? I don't know. Are my eyebrows still on? Uh, yep. Aces. Here, Freckle. I got you a souvenir. It's not. You're supposed to light it first. <laughs> Nico! Brother mine, help me up. Shit, you look disappointed. Mad as fuck. Little Daisy. And though scrutinized and scandalized and troubled in the end by depleted finances. Hmm. Familiar story. Miss Duncan leaves behind, moreover, a legacy of consummate artistry and bold innovation. Done in by a scarf. The comic end that makes the tragedy, doesn't it? Speaking of tragedy, we got an old supplier back. The funeral home. Hmm. Still, it's not the same without you. And that feeling that all of this was ours. <sighs> Used to be we could drive a whole convoy of trucks in. Now we're just digging for scraps. Well, however unbecoming, Atlas, that's my cue. Meet you downstairs. Sad. Miss M. Horatio. The door, sweetheart. Oh, right. Did you hear the voice? Mm-hmm. How's the weather, madam? Ah, right, the difficult business of a uh, business. You could certainly be of some help. Except I'm supposed to be a pillar of the community, baron of industry, upstanding citizen, you know? <laughs> he said, bent over his illicit beverage. 
Oh, thank goodness. I wasn't sure you were alive. Zib! Shouldn't you be up on stage playing? For who? That guy? <laughs> How about you, Wick? Shall I serenade you personally? Yeah. Uh, once I've had a few more illicit beverages, perhaps. I suppose I could use one of those too. Victor? Two cigarettes at the same time? <laughs> Victor, I know it's an adjustment, but the bartender's got to look like someone the patronage can tell their troubles to. More of a confidant, <laughs> less of a coroner. Wow. Try smiling, honey. <sighs> we'll work on it. Bum ba da da ba 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 ba. Hello. We made it, everyone. I saw the car. We made it. What about the carpet. <laughs> JJ! Sorry. Well, look what the Mississippi spat up. Miss Sam, you seem, uh. surprised. Rocky, sweetie, you are nothing if not an exhausting, incomprehensible surprise. Thank you! Nice. This was supposed to be the real McCoy. Let's see if that's the surprise. <sighs> well, <clears throat> it'll certainly start your engine. Which is to say, <clears throat> it beats radiated fluid. What's that aftertaste? Um, crisp, full bodied, um, reminiscent of oak wood, coffin varnish. Yeah, we can call it the uh, Sunset Rose Cocktail. Sunset Rose Cocktail? That sounds good. <sighs> you have no idea what I went through to get this. I have very good an idea. <laughs> he probably does. Mmm, <laughs> sophisticated <laughs> flavor. Nikki drinking liquor. Literally. <laughs> so, not bad then? Still, is this all we got for our money, honey? You look like you took a bath in the red. Well, I could probably wring some more out of my coat for you. There was a minor incident. Minor. <sighs> really? The likes of what? Oh, just some spent ammo and desecrated graves. Fractured signage. Minor flooding, lots of structural damage. Uh, we may have fomented a deadly rivalry on the way, too. But dynamite and heavy machinery are marvelous problem solvers. A old sport dynamite? What dynamite? And the car is fine. I fixed it. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Also, you'll be happy to know my violin came through unscathed. I know you did your best, honey, but we can't keep running ourselves ragged and into the red to bring Omega. What I mean is, I, I don't see how this. Uh... <laughs> JJ! <laughs> you know what? I'm glad you and your violin are back, honey. We could all use some music about now. I mean, besides JJ. All right, all right. Come on, kid. What do you say we go lighten the mood? Uh, about the dynamite mm. and machinery. Can you elaborate? Mr. Sable. All uh, right. Cheers. Come on, you owe me a dance. I do? Yes, I've decided. You know the Charleston? No. The Lindy Hop? No. The Roundabout? The Jingle Jangle? The Tasty Noodle? Connect me to Mr. Sweet, please. Rather unfortunately, we were sidetracked. The vehicle has been disabled, and on the whole, the evening has 
not gone according to plan. Let me see if I have this right. Ruthless, infamous hatchet man Mordecai Heller is calling me to ask for a ride. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> However, Mr. Sweet, it seems... What, what am I, your it, dad? <laughs> it seems we have a more considerable problem at hand. What, someone must your hair? You got some dirt on you? As a matter of fact, yes. But more to the point, one of our suppliers appears to be double-dealing. So stragglers from lackadaisy, of all things. They're clumsy and likely to draw attention. With the feds in town... Yeah, that's a real liability. And I can only stave off so much heat from the higher-ups before this whole city starts smoldering. That's the guy from the picture, I think. Oh, those dragons. No. Having given it some thought, it does appear to warrant our attention. Right then. Time to tie up some loose ends. There we go. No, oh, it's not the same guy. Okay. So, what do you think? It's different than anything really I've ever watched before. I can agree with that. And I'm kind of surprised by like the era and location that they chose because I've yeah. never watched any like cartoon. A kind Nothing of adulty the, version. The you Prohibition know? era. Yeah. Well, I mean, not like this. I watched Boardwalk Empire a decent amount of it, and it was kind of in this same time period, dealt with Prohibition and just like the the smuggling of alcohol was a huge thing, and it made a lot of people a whole lot of money for as short of a time as it lasted. It is just insane to think about America without booze. Yeah. Even for the shortest period yeah. of time. Because... I mean, we drink a lot, um, and well, I mean, as a as a nation, yeah. you know, we consume a lot of alcohol, and it's really like an overstep of the government to prohibit things like that. Yeah. I mean, I would understand that more than marijuana prohibition, but still, that's yeah. a thing in a lot of states. Not as many as it used to be, because it's an overwhelming amount of them have at least decriminalized it at this point. So that's pretty neat, but. This time period was like, you know, right around the Depression, like they, you know, and a precursor to um, World War II. Yeah. It was an interesting time and a tough time for a lot of people. And sometimes you just need a little something, something to help you cope. Yes. Yes. It's just how it is. Um, the <laughs> Too much droning on. Could have done with way less voice lines. Yeah, I think so. I think the animation was the most impressive part of all of this. Plus, it didn't have any uh, something that people like to see sometimes uh, up top or kung fu. Oh, boobas. That's not what they said. But yeah. yeah. <laughs> Everything needs those. <laughs> Say it. Say it. <laughs> yeah. Um, I, I thought that it was really fun, and I think Rocky. Was really cute. Rocky is my favorite character from of the whole course. thing. Of course. I mean, he's the one who brought the most he's entertainment. Crazy. Yeah. Like batshit crazy. Right. That's <laughs> what first, I like. At first, I was like, I don't know where ah, this is going. Chavez says that Rocky's voice actor also played Angel Dust and has been Hotel. Okay, so that, that makes, makes sense. sense. Yeah. The cat that like opened the door for her sounded like someone, and I was like, hmm, that I don't know, but. No. But I looked at the credits, so I didn't like recognize. But I don't know voice actors, so right. um, if somebody else played in that, let us know. But I do agree with the criticism that there was a lot of um, a lot of lines that just were didn't add any. It's kind of like space filler to a certain. I point. I felt that way too, and I felt like, but but to me, that's not a bad thing. To, so it felt a little bit like slower and maybe more relaxed and gave space in between so you could breathe and stuff and after it felt the action more natural yeah something that popped up the other day um we were we were 
um, looking at something to watch and there was a commercial for like some kids show and uh -huh. it was like bam 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 and I was like if I had a kid like I would make them watch old cartoons because it's just so much and I like that it kind of like was a slower pace thing mm. because I just think that some things are just overkill and it's not necessary. I feel like maybe later on it's not going to be like that. Yeah, it's it's a unique own thing. It's yeah. obviously an indie thing. So I, I think for a YouTube Confidence. pilot, it's pretty fucking awesome. Yeah. Uh, and I'm interested to see where it goes. I do think it's interesting. Would they set this in Missouri? No, um, um, not Louisiana, M Mississippi. Mississippi. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Cause there was like, there was a lot of bootlegging going on in the South, but a large majority of it that was going on had to do with moonshine. Which is what I was going to bring up. And I was like, I don't know. I come from a family of moonshiners and yeah. Smuggling alcohol. And well, that's all how that. NASCAR even got started. What? Because they were uh, the moonshiners oh, were were souping the up their cars to be able to run from the police on dirt roads and Man, shit. Man, why do they have to ruin that? That's cool. <laughs> it could be cool as yeah, shit. Yeah, that sounds. But yeah. it got over corporatized wow. and like super blue collar comedy tour redneck right. slap your wife style, and it just became stupid as shit. Yeah. But like. That's the reason why people like, yes, this is an amazing name, Dick Trickle, are so badass because he was one of the outlaw guys that they had to like fine every race because he refused to stop smoking cigarettes. Oh, yeah, he was smoking cigarettes. He in would his, be smoking yeah. cigarettes in his car. Um, How do you drive at 200 miles an hour and maybe it helps you? I don't know. Right. But uh, yeah, so that's kind of where our region's part in in all this was like we made our own liquor like when the government was like you guys can't have liquor we said yeah right like popcorn something, you know? <laughs> yeah yeah right we're gonna get hammered yeah, i think i was like mm, 12 when i found my grandfather's steel and yeah. i was like and like an envelope full of cash and i was like i have so much power I have so much <laughs> liquor and so much money and i can't tell anyone yeah. Yeah. But anyway, neat animation, really cool uh, cartoon. I'm interested to see how this series progresses or if this was just a pitch, if they just put this together to pitch it to studios or something like that. You never know with these things. And it's things. like really cute. Like I know it lines up with the time, but like the art deco style and like uh -huh. it's just, it's a very cute and I love how you can see through the sketches at some point. Right. I yeah. like that a lot. So I'm wondering, is this like legitimately hand-drawn animation? Is it that what like this it. is? Because if so, that's super impressive. I mean, it could be on like a tablet or something. It looks like well, they that, have different. But... I know the way that they used to do it is like there were cells that they would place on top yeah. of like backgrounds and stuff. I don't. I, I don't, don't know if it's that. I much. don't know, but uh, very cool stuff. And I hope you guys enjoyed it. Yeah. I definitely did. And, uh, you know, go give some love to the homies that uh, created this mm -hmm. at Lack of Daisy. Yep. Because. Uh, Lack of Daisy on yeah, YouTube. On and YouTube. it will be linked in the title of this video. You should go check them out and subscribe if you like this. I'm sure they have a bunch of other stuff. I don't know, but we'll go look. Yeah, we'll be checking it out. But anyway, thank you guys for checking this reaction out. Hopefully you enjoyed it. If you did, you could give us a like. You could subscribe to the channel. There's also places you could give us recommendations. Mm -hmm. The comments or the Discord is the best place. We also have a Patreon if you're interested in that. And we go live on Friday on Twitch. I said this backwards at 2.30 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. Very fun stuff. <laughs> uh, thank you guys for checking this out. We'll see you in the next one. See you one. guys. Bye.